I started a brand new account just to see what we'd have to see if it changed. Maybe we need to change our strategies for brand new players playing the game. Plus, I wanted to show you what they're offering season one that we don't have yet. What's exciting about this? End of day three, I did some final summons and I want to show you what I currently have and how strong my account is. I did get a legendary. I've got a lot of gold dice that I need to show you how many I opened by the end of day three. Charlatch, we get him. Very easy to do the quest to get him. And then look at this. Witches remains already. Free to play, of course. We've got some cool epics. I have Adolphus in here. A lot of summons. Let's see how many summons I've done so far. 37 summons by the end of day three. So at least one guaranteed legendary. I got two legendaries out of this and it was a duplicate. So I got Witch's Remains, which is almost really, it's better than getting another legendary. Then when I went to bed last night, I put Texandra in this level up pit that we have, this training pit we have to level up our heroes. And she's already maxed out. It's quick. I'm not mad about this. I'm actually very happy for all players starting to play Dragonair Silent Gods. And if you haven't played in a long time and you don't have an account that's like out to season two or season three, or you were always free to play or a low spender, you might want to consider coming back and playing. Would I do this? Absolutely not. You're always behind all the current content. Nobody wants to do this. This is the biggest and only problem with Dragonair Silent Gods, but it's such a huge issue that it turns so many players away. Why would I play this account when I see all the new stuff coming out for season four? And I can't partake in that. And then by the time I do get to season four, I've seen all this stuff that has come out for season five. And then I'm on season four. And then now I see season six being released with all those heroes, all the key gear, all the new events. It just makes it to where people don't want to play. It's the only issue with Dragonair. Otherwise, Dragonair is one of the greatest games I've ever played. And now that it's so good, now that the starting process is so damn good, I want to get people in here. I want them to play season one or a portion of season one and then go into the newest season so that they can experience everything that we all experience, all the new stuff, all the banners, all the new heroes, all the artifacts, everything together. And I think we can get there. It's very easy to do if we actually just take our collective thoughts and make it happen, we can make it happen and it won't disrupt anything because new players going into a new season are playing together with other new players. They're not playing with me. They're only playing with people that started at the same time they did. You're going to always have to disrupt somebody's season. You're going to have to cut it short. That way everybody starts a new season together, but you only interrupt their cycle once. Once they're in tune with the seasons, they will always be there. And then they know when they first start playing, hey, a new season starts up this many days from now, this is how long you have to play in your current like area with your friends, people that started when you did, and then boom, you are forced into the new season. It is not an option. Now they can still have all this going on, right? They can still pick up from where they left off. There's so many intuitive things they could do. It's, it's really simple if you put your mind to it, to where people can still finish out their season one storyline in progress, but still be with all the new things that's going on for the newest season and start that new season together and they miss out on nothing because they're only playing with people that they started playing with. Simple to do. And I love Faye Meander. We all know how good the new arena is, but Faye, we don't have this yet. Faye, we still have to run around. We have to go over to those little archways and teleport to different islands and it's really annoying. Here, I love this. Actually, Faye has been one of my favorite things on this brand new account. As I've been getting stronger, all I have to do is come over here to Faye, do 10 times speed to see if I can pass it. And a lot of times I can. I just come over here 10 times speed throughout the day and you're getting tons of solvent here. You're getting lots of journey experience too on this new account. As you do anything, you get journey experience. And then as you pretty much do anything here in Faye and a lot of other areas as you're leveling up, they give you a lot of solvent to always go back throughout the day and put into your elemental affinity. And I'll show you that, it's a lot stronger. There we go, we beat it. Now, if we couldn't beat it on 10 times speed, I wouldn't slow it down and do one or two times because we're gaining so much power all day long. As we gain more power, we get stronger. We just come back in here on fight floor 42, that's it. There's no running around, guys. It's just like pillars, no running around. We just hit here, hit play, 10 times speed, can I beat it? Later on, we'll focus. Like when it gets hard, you can put it down to one and two times speed and focus on it. Now you do still run around, 
in the labyrinth of curiosities. But I do like how we can see it now, and it looks like there's a lot more rewards. So Faye, to me, is now one of my new favorite things. Like, really it is. And we get so much from there to make our account stronger. It makes it fun, because we bounce back, like, all day long. We get a little stronger, bounce back over to Faye, and get more rewards. And then we come over to our elemental affinity, and it's pretty wild. 20% additional attack right now for my fire and poison. Right here for my necrosis and ice, I'm getting 12% additional attack. It's going up fast. So before, I felt like we did this really slow in the beginning of the season. We're going back in there more often, so it really gives you a sense of progression because you're getting a lot of solvent. You're going back in there throughout the day. You're actually leveling it up. You're not waiting at the end of the week to try to get solvent from different events like we do. You just get a lot of solvent. So all in all, it's great. I'm so happy they did this. I really like the season one experience. I can't wait for everybody to enjoy this. And I can't wait for everybody to come to the most current season. It's the only thing in my eyes that will really save this game in the long term. Right now, it's only been three seasons. Can you imagine when there's 10 seasons or 12 seasons? Nobody's going to want to play season one and then go through two years of content to get to what they saw when they first started playing. But by then, all that's gone. It's two years, you're still away. Nobody's going to play a game to where we can't be together as a community. There's too much separation. This is the number one thing that I think that they're working on. I don't know if they're doing all this and making season one amazing so that we can eventually get to that point. But if they are trying to do that, shouldn't they tell us? Shouldn't they give us a little roadmap and assure us that all that's being worked on and that we've heard you every single day in content creator chat and we understand how important this is. Not just from, you know, we're saying what the community is saying. This isn't just like content creators are banding together and hey, this is what we want. This is from you guys, the community that we all wanna play together. We all wanna experience the same things together. So we need to know that. And I hope they come out and tell us because it really is a good time. 37 dice, is that what I had at the end of day three? 37. And I got Witch's Remains already. And then everything's been fun. Arena's great. Faye Meander's great. Pretty soon I'll have the trials open up once I get down further. I'm sure that's going to be fun as well because I'm going to have so much power. Let me know your thoughts on season one. Are you playing a second account? Are you enjoying it? Do you love all this new stuff that they've added? Let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you all in a video soon.